This is a new video about the new EXO charts update regarding the new tab system we have over there uh, that we're going to be using and, and how really you can use it to benefit your trading and your workspaces in general. Uh, so to begin with, I think it's a really good idea that we start off by essentially removing everything from this, this setup I have here. So what I would do is here, click on this little dropout tab, workspace, uh, and then click on create a new workspace and I'm going to click yes. And okay, so now we literally have a blank screen. So this is essentially what you're going to see um, if really you start from scratch, you open up EXO charts, what you're going to get. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do really is you're going to see the new tab groups on the left hand side. These are going to be reference, uh, referencing really towards your essentially uh, different tab groups you can have. So essentially you can have different window panels, etc. that we're going to go over in a minute. But where I want to start is firstly, if you hit this little arrow to the left hand side, this will minimize that. So you have this little uh, minimized view of your tab groups, but you're going to start with your main tab panel. So everything here really works kind of similar to how it did before. You press add new tab, uh, but where things really get interesting, obviously, is like if we have like there's two screens, for example, add another tab. And if we right click here, we can now, there's a few new functions. So you can rename tab, obviously you know, re reset tab is the same, but rename tab is really, really cool here in my opinion. So now I can rename it, for example, let's say I want to put chart, add in, for example, one of my templates this is my favorite one, uh, luxury, uh, my, my lower time frame one. And again, I'll release this soon as well for the public potentially. And this is really gonna be going over uh, order flow, for example, but let's say I wanted to right click, rename the tab, um, three minute scalping. There you go, it renames it automatically. But what's really cool now is I can organize this really, really well. So let's say also I wanted to have web trading view up. And rather than actually having it, uh, you know, named the BTC, USD, whatever, rename this, I'm gonna call it um, trading view. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, because I don't know why it's still on the screen. Uh, yeah, essentially you can rename it trading view. But once I've done this, right, what I can then do is I can actually drag. Okay, so I can drag and actually change around here um, the organizational side of the actual tabs and the order of it. So you can see here, you know, I can change really, really swift in that, in my opinion, on that uh, on that front. So I can just change that around. Alongside that, now if you also right click, for example, you'll see top, left, right, and bottom. So this is one pane. So you've got two separate panes here at the moment. You know, one pane, a second pane, uh, and you can choose top, left, right, and bottom. And now what that's referring to is the way uh, the the tab layout is going to be. So for example, if I wanted the the tabs on the left, you can see the tab organization now moves to the left hand side. So this is a really cool new feature. Uh, just you know, it really really. Um, expands the amount of customization you can have to the software now, in my opinion. So let's right click again, right, uh, right click again, you know, bottom, whatever. It will adjust it exactly the way you want. And if you, you can see here, this doesn't adjust it for the left pane here. That's why I mentioned that. So you can then have the left pane on the left or, or whatever you like. Personally, for me, uh, if I'm honest with you, I prefer to leave it at the top or the bottom. You're really up to you. Depends on your, on your, on your system. And that's why it's really good because it's really depending on the type of system you want to, you want to run and the customization aspect of that. So once you've got that sort of, you run through there, you know, rename tab, usual stuff, reload tab, obviously we'll reload a tab, reset tab, we'll completely reset the tab. So if, if I just hit this now, you'll see, do you want to reset this chart? Okay, there we go. Uh, reset it completely new, tab, you know, back to a completely blank tab and you can start again from scratch. Uh, obviously the dragging side of thing works the same. I'm going to go over a new feature regarding that in a minute. Um, and all of that, you know, the, the dragging and dropping is really not that difficult. You take the tab here, you can drag it, you know, halves, quarters, thirds, whatever you like, really, into splitting this all up as, as customizable as you want. Now, back to these tab groups here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back onto like a minimized view here. Uh, you can open this tab group by clicking this little arrow here, of course. And um, let's just go on to the de-anchoring side of things first, actually. So... Let's say, for example, you have a really small monitor because I'm trading on the go. I've got my MacBook um, and sometimes you might not have uh, essentially, you know, as much screen real estate. Uh, so to combat this, I guess, to an extent and what I prefer to use this feature for is if you actually press this, this, this little lock function here, de-anchor split pane. So hit this button here and you can see it kind of pops these panes away from where they were essentially. Um, so let's just open it back up again and you can see, again, this is really going to open it up from that perspective. Uh, to kind of split this up into however you like. Um, but if I like drag this over here, it kind of gives you this widget type formation where again, you can split this up and adjust it to however you like. So if I just show you here, got just getting, just getting a bit buggy. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Okay, I think it's back to normal. So you can see here, like you can drag and drop, you know, many different pro, you know, windows, etc. how you like. But what's even more crucial here is let's say now, um, 
I want, you know, something like this. And I want to be able to, you know, let's say, drag this even further down here. Now, what I can do then is, is scroll down, right? So you can have, it gives you a scrolling function to really place widgets wherever you like within the chart. Okay, however you like within the chart. So you can split it up uh, however you like. And you can see here, um, you know, it'll split up and you can start scrolling. So if I have a small screen, but I also want something on the same monitor, I can start, you know, opening many different tabs and essentially uh, windows and in the de-anchor mode and start really placing it wherever I like. Uh, now the one, I don't want to say caveat to this is that it, your viewpoint of that panel must be complete on the screen for that tab to remain visible. So what I mean by that is you can see down here, this tab hits as new tab and you can't see anything on that tab, right? So it would be better if I showed you an example. I open up a chart here, open up my single prints template. Okay, so it's going to load up, let it load up. Okay, and you can see here that, okay, we've got this, my single prints template up and there's another function I'm going to show you as well within these uh, setups. So I'll go back to that as well. Um, but regarding this, okay, so let's say if I come off it, you can see it will come off. It won't show the top part of it, but once I go fully onto this, okay, there you go. I can see the whole thing again uh, and it's fully in view. So again, that's uh, how you want to run this in my opinion if you're going to be running in de-anchored mode. Okay, so that's really cool. But let's say for example, I have, I drag this on top and I believe now if you actually lock it, it should make full screen. So if you put it back in the uh, anchored mode, it will make the, your most recent pane uh, full screen. So that's really quite cool. If you press this again, unlock it, there you go. So you've got that. But also again, if you'd like, you can uh, maximize it using the uh, actual maximize and minimize window there if you like. So there's really a lot of customization uh, really built in from that point. Uh, a quick tip for you all, I believe, is if you want to quickly anchor, for example, this pane here, you know, you want to anchor it, double click the top here and there you go. It just completely anchors this pane um, to itself and you can just go from there. And if you want to de-anchor it, double click again at the top and there you go, it's, it's unanchored. So a really, really quite cool function there uh, that's been built into ExoCharts. What I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to load up my personal workspace again. So I'm going to hit load and you can see here it's going to be loading up my actual personal workspace with a sibling. I've got a sibling window. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually we're going to go break down a bit further um, into essentially the, let me just open it up. Uh, a bit laggy because my PC has been running a while, I believe, once these all load up. Now we're going to talk a bit more about a few other features that are a bit separate and also the new tab groups uh, and, and all of that as well. So within these templates here, you can see now what we've adjusted really the net longs, net shorts and all that stuff, uh, features. So it's, it's much more similar to how the web version looks. You know, I think that's really, really cool the way it's just very simplistic. But one feature I want you to take really good advantage of is this really nice nifty little auto hide app bar feature and sidebar. Um, so what, what this does is, let's just say, for example, we're here on trading, you know, on another template here, we've got on exo charts, but, you know, if, if I let un put it back to normal, you can see here, like nothing changes if I go back to this, um, but you're like, you know, you want to maximize the real estate. So let's say I'm not focusing on this template anymore. Well, if you hit this button here and then I click back off of this, you can see it maximizes it. So, you, you know, if you're not in, even looking at it, it takes away all the accessible functionality of it anyway, but you're just going to be viewing it anyway because you're on another template. So that's really the function, uh, really good core of that, especially if you're using really small, um, you know, windows, you know, you can like use this to maximize your screen real estate again, in my opinion. Um, and let's say, for example, now here, you can see you can't see. So a lot of people probably ask this. You can't see this little drop thing. What you need to do is just scroll. And again, you know, you can scroll as much as you like. So I'm scrolling up and down here on my cursor to, to do so. So yeah, this can, again, if I want to do this, um, it will do it. I mean, I've, I've said it automatically now because it's really cool, uh, in my opinion, like for not using it, as well as the global cursor. Again, that's really something to be taking full advantage of, in my opinion, in terms of just like gauging, okay, what level of interest you want to be looking for. Now, going back over to tab, uh, the tab group system here, let's just unmaximize this. You can see I've got mine, uh, and we're going to start off, you're going to see different tab groups. So what you can do is obviously you can de-anchor and, and anchor it like I showed you before through there, and like I prefer the double double click feature. But if I then go, this three dots here, rename group, obviously renames it. So I've just named it BTC. Okay, um, from that perspective, reset group is going to completely wipe it all um, uh, so to like a complete reset of the tabs. Um, and a delete group is going to delete the group. So nothing too complex there, but you know, let's say I want to go to ETH, BTC, ETH, you know, ETH setup, you know, if I'm trading altcoins or whatnot, then obviously I can do that um, and have a complete different tab setup here. You know, and then go back to this and look, it's still exactly the same. So this is really, really the core functionality of this, in my opinion, especially if you're trading more than one asset. This is really cool. You know, it will, this is really unlocks ultimate um, customization within the platform itself. So I highly recommend you use this if you're trading multiple assets or, you know, you're, you're struggling with organization. Uh, alongside this as well, people might not want to might know 
let's say you have ETH here uh, as a tab group, you wanna drag it out, boom, it, it opens in a complete different window, uh, as, a, as a sibling window. Okay, and you've got that tab group there, so if you wanna do that, and if you wanna drag it back, drag it back, make sure it's with it on this system here, not like here, but on the tab groups there, and boom, there you go, you got it there. And if you wanna reorganize, again, you just shuffle about. So this new tab system here, in my opinion, is really, really uh, beneficial. Um, for those of you who are new, um, who might not have seen this new tab system, might not know how it works, hopefully this video helps you out, um, but it really unlocks a whole uh, world of customization for exo charts, okay? So if I close window on that, um, in my opinion, so you hopefully I've, I've run through all the features there uh, that's of interest to you. Uh, the one other thing I, I quickly wanna um, touch upon was obviously down here, we've got a few new tools before, we had like lock, reset, etc. Uh, you know, lock, auto, etc. But now it's back to how it was on exo web. So if we load up exo web, you'll see so web <laughs> luxury daily you can see it's very similar to that um that platform so you can see there you go so i hope you lot enjoyed this video um if there's anything else you'd like to ask comment that in the comments below um and yeah i'll get to that but i'll leave a disc uh, a link to join the exo charts discord down below as well and i hope you lot enjoyed